do I solve this part of the question? What will Master Galileo say? He doesn't know how to square root. Galileo, I am sorry. I am not worthy to be your pupil. I am a failure. <laughs> I came from the future! <laughs> Tell me, fellow human, what year is this? It's just horrible! <laughs> what, who, me? I can't solve this part of the question! There is no way! There is just no way I can solve this! <laughs> oh, I never fear, fellow human, for this is what you need! Texas Instrument Calculator, the best calculator ever. Visit ti.com for more information. Hello and welcome to the best YouTube channel featuring me, your favorite online celebrity. Last week, I built a time machine. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> and I have successfully traveled back in time to the 17th century where I met Vincenzo Viviani, who was Galileo Galilei's disciple. Vincenzo Viviani will help me solve a physics question related to object motion and kinematics. And here he is, the man himself. Buongiorno a tutti! It's strange, why are we staring at this device? I will never understand future people. Sorry. Okay, let's go to the whiteboard. And so here we are, the filming booth. The whiteboard, we're gonna be watching Vincenzo Viviani teach us physics. I already wrote the question on the board, he's coming right now. I'm just gonna sit here, watch him solve the question for us. And yeah, we're gonna watch this man from the past solve a physics question. He's coming right now. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, here we are, here we are. Our people in the future, they're so rich. Yeah. Where do I stand? Stand over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then look up at the, yeah. the, the camera. Right. And, and uh, don't forget to introduce yourself, yeah. Hello and welcome. My name is Vincenzo Viviani. I am from Italy. And uh, today I am helping my future friend with a physics question. The question is in here on this uh, smooth white wall. The question is, Rex Things dropped his mother's vase out the window of his fourth story apartment 18.2 meters above the ground. And the question wants us to determine the landing speed of the vase. The thing to do with these questions is to visualize. Visualize every component of the question. Visualize the situation. So, there is a building and the Rex is at the fourth story of the building. And it is 18 meters, 18.2 meters above ground. The displacement is negative 18.2 meters. Why is it negative? Because its end position, ending position is negative, is below its starting position. So the change in position is negative. And by looking at the words of the question, words such as dropped, we can already tell that uh, the initial velocity is equal to zero. Why is it zero? Because when you're dropping an object, it is at rest, and then you're dropping it. So its initial velocity is zero meters per second. Exactly. And now, anybody studying physics or doing a physics question must know that any object that is falling towards the center of the Earth is accelerating at 9.8 meters per second. And don't forget the negative. It's negative 9.8 meters per second. Oh, yes. Square. I almost forgot. Okay? It's an acceleration. Time is squared. And it's negative. Because you're going down. Now, the question wants us to find its landing speed. So the speed, at the moment, it hits the ground. So it's final velocity. They want us to find the final velocity. Vf. Okay? So, 
How do we do this? Well, we need to find the correct formula. We have displacement, we have find initial velocity, we have acceleration, and we want to find final velocity. The equation that perfectly fits this situation is Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2a change in displacement, change in position. It has final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, I'm sorry, there's an atom on top, acceleration, and change in position, displacement. And so now that we found the equation that best fits the situation, all we have to do is plug in the numbers, in, add in the numbers to the variables. And then we can easily find what we're looking for, which is Vf. So we know that Vf squared is equal to Vi zero. Zero. This part is gone. Because zero times zero, zero times anything, is zero. So there's nothing here. And so we're only left with this part of the equation. 2a times change in position. And so it's 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 18.2. And now it's simple. We only need to multiply this, the three numbers over here. And using this amazing tool, we find that vf squared is equal to 356.72. It's so simple. You just need to press the numbers. I love future equipment. And then we square root to find that VF is equal to 18.89. And don't forget the units. Meters per second. And now the important thing to realize here is that it is actually negative 18.89 meters per second. Why is it so? Because the object was falling down. If it's falling down, its speed is negative. Because the convention is up is positive and down is negative. Which is why the final velocity is negative 18 meters per second and that is the answer <laughs> sorry folks but seems like vincenzo viviani made a small mistake speed does not require you to have a direction so you don't have to have that negative sign but he would be correct if the question were asking for a velocity velocities accelerations and displacements they are vectors so they require that direction but speed distance and time, they are not vectors, so they don't require a direction. Just as a note. And this is all thanks to this amazing tool. This is the most meaningful and significant discovery in the history of humanity. Trust me when I say this. You got to believe in this, and you will never fail. This is amazing. This is magnific. This is excellent. I'm sorry, I have to stop Vincenzo Viviani because if I were to let him talk, he would go on for hours just describing how good, how wonderful the calculator is. And um, right now I am preparing to send him back into the past 1672 where he belongs. I can't keep him in the future forever and like all good things, this just has to end. It's pretty hard for me as well. And yeah, we're preparing to say goodbye. And I am back home. Thank you for bringing me to the future, my friend. Farewell. Farewell. Farewell, Mr. Viviani. Ciao. Bye. Wait. You forgot this? Whew. Time traveling is tiresome. Let's see what's on the news. Probably just inflation. Increase in inflation is not the only concern on people's minds these days. Archaeologists seemingly have
have found a calculator hidden deep within the personal documents of Vincenzo Viviano, who was Galileo Galilei's apprentice and disciple. We do not know what this means, but folks, this is exciting.